Okay, now we move on to the round of 16. Well, 16 superstars still have a lot of work to do to get money for their charity. For race number one, we have the Evolution Pokemon Eevee against Starmory, one of Charm was the third Pokemon. And both of these Pokemon are ready to go, so without further ado, everyone is on the clock, and let's have a challenge! Alright, so Eevee and Starmory are up first for the round 16 this year's Hard to Counter Tournament. We'll whoop a bell, we'll find out soon enough. Right now, number 5 is in the lead, followed by number 8. And the card to counter with best of the so far is Skarmory with 6th place. Ahead of Eevee. Right now, Eevee and Skarmory are pushing the ball to the other side. They're closing in on the other side of the rainbow path. I can't wait to find out who's going to move on to the round of 8. For a chance to make the grand final and earn charity money. Well, who's going to get the human toss for this face? It is going to be named Mother of Den, number 7 who gets it. And that will put him in first place. That means this race will go to the next back standing. Number 5 is spending the one in second place. And I don't think we'll have time for another speed wrestle in this race. So Skarmory is going to hold off Eevee for third place. Yep, Skarmory holds off Eevee to secure third place. He is the first to move on to round 8 for the 2017 Cartoon Character Tournament. Thanks, Eevee, for all your support, and Skarmory, we'll see you later on in the round 8. Congratulations! And moving on along to race number 2, where we have the purple half of, of Chabra's favorite two-headed dragon, Wheezy from Dragon Tales, taking on Oshawott, who was Chabra's Wisconsin project last year in 2016. The players are one of them ready to go, so without further ado, Please start the race! Okay, so Weezy and Oshawa will deal with race number two. The winner will go on to face Skarmory in about eight. Want a loser? Better luck next year. Anyway, number seven is in the lead of cover win, with Oshawa having the best position so far in third place behind number one. And right now, Weezy and Oshawa are making their way towards the rainbow path. And number six is going to so he's going to be left behind in the competition for a while. And number eight is going to join number six for a deal line. As the first superstar against beat this is Wheezy, one half of Channel's favorite two and a dragon from Dragon Tales. And there you have it! Wheezy has won it! She is the winner of this race. She's going to face Stormly in the round of eight later on in the show. Thanks, Archeron, for all your support and bringing your fans to this exciting card to counter tournament. Thank you very much. And Weezy, you're going to move on to round 8 to face Scarmory in the round of 8. Let's see what happens in the rest of the race. As we say, we'll be right back with more saying action after the break. Next up for race number 3, we have. Or the Blue Dragon from Dragon Tales and Blue from Blue Screws. Yep, they're both blue, but which one will have to sing the blues and who will move one step closer towards their charity chances? We're about to find out right now. We start the race! Alright, so it's last year's $50,000 runner up taking on Blue herself, herself from Blue Screws. Which one of those blue characters will prepare? We'll find out soon enough. Right now, number 8 is in the lead, with number 5 in second and number 6 in third place. And or if a dragon tells the blue dragon, leading over the blue puppy, blue, a blue screws, he is in fifth place at the current moment. The two blue characters are making their way, and it's blue for blue screws, who have the only toss. He is going to leave or left behind in the dust. Blue is going to move on to the round of eight, yep. And there you have it. Blue solves up another mystery. Blue is moving on to the round of six of eight, folks. What a great speed was by Blue Puppy Blue of Blue Screws. As number seven, while well, the next command speed was the one in second place. Looks like Orr will have the wider and four points behind number five. Yeah, thank you, Orr, for all your support. And congratulations to you, Blue, on a job well done. You let out the palm print to all of our fair fans. 
And that's you moving on to the round eight. We'll see you later on in the show. Alright, time for race number four now. We'll be halfway for the round 16 after this race. We have Zap, the green half of the two headed dragon for Dragon Tails. Or Bloom, the mid evolution of Poppy Oak for Pokemon Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Let's see what happens here. Best of luck to these two participants. And let's have a challenge! <coughs> okay, there goes Zack and Bloom! Let's see down the line. Which one of them will face Blue in the rounds 8? We'll find out soon. Right now, number 6 is in the lead, with number 8 right on his tail in second place. And the superstar with the best position so far is Bloom, with 6th place ahead of the pack. Which one is going to face blue in the amount of eight? Uh, we'll soon know as they get to the well, final leg of the power quest. And it looks like number six is going to have to try to get attention here. As number seven will win the open toss for this phase. And that was a good speed bus fight there. <coughs> good speed bus fight there. And he will win in the first place. That means this race will go to the next back standing of the remaining seven channels still searching for the fish, right? Which is gonna be Banu and nobody gets to the speed bus. Yep, that is gonna do it! Banu holds on Zach for the red race. Thanks Zach for all your support. Say hi to BZ and John and work for me. And right now it is Banu who moves on round eight. He's gonna face Blue in the round eight. And it's more time coming out with the second half of the round 16 after the break. Okay, we're now in the second half of the round 16. First up, we have Neuroman Female and Meganium from the Pokemon franchise. That is what we have for race number 5. So it's good luck to Neuroman Female and Meganium on the next step towards the charity money this year. And please start the race! Here we go! And number 2 is going to rest, so he will be left behind in the crowd. By now, number 5 is in the lead, followed by number 1 and number 8. The superstar with the best position so far is Meganium, who is in fifth place at the current point. Both East of the both Nino Man Female and Meganium are pushing the model to your side on the rainbow path. Who is going to get that first? We'll find out soon enough. And number one is going to rise, but here he comes with the next with the opening toss for this race. Now he jumps to the lead after taking a short nap. He doesn't need to go to rest for long. Now he is approaching the finish line at Catmort. And who will get speed bus number two in this race? As number one crosses the finish line, it is number seven. That's who he jumps to second place. So in third place, it is going to be Meganium. Who's going to hold on? Little and female for the victory. Thanks, Little and female, for being with us tonight and your fans as well. Congratulations, McGinnium, on a job well done. We'll see you later on in the round of eight. Now, for race number six, we have Dwarty Explorers, East on the Iguana, and Snow White and Third Horse, Don't Be. Which one of those green fellows will face McGinnium in the round of eight? There's only one way to find out. Everyone is on the clock. And let's rock this place! <coughs> okay, this race for the side. Who will face? Meganium in the round 8. Will it be East of the Iguana from Dora the Explorer? Or Dopey, one of the 7 dwarves from Snow White and the 7 dwarves? There's only one way to find out. Right now, East of the Iguana has the lead. Followed by number 2 and number 5. And it looks like number 7 and 8 are going to rest. That means these two child are going to be left behind in the competition all the way in the back. As the first superstar to get speed bus is number 2. We got some good speed bus right there by number 2. <coughs> and he will win in first place. So this race will go to the next next standing. Which is going to be decided on the next command of speed bus. Doopy with that speed bus beats out Easy the Iguana for the victory. Thanks, Easy the Iguana, for all your support as she comes in third place. So, Doopy with a second place finish will go on and face McGinnium in the round 8 later on in the show. 
we will present the rest of the Rouse Extreme Races after we hear what from next. And now, Fox Bunny in race number 7 on the Rouse Extreme from Warner Brothers Looney Tunes takes on Disney's Peter Pan flying away to Neverland. Let's see who will be the lucky candidate tonight. Moving on to the matter 8. Everyone is on a clock. And we start the race! Here we go! And it looks like number 6 is going to mess now. He will be left behind in the crowd. By now number 2 is in the lead, followed by number 8. And Bugs Bunny has the best position so far in 3rd place. With Peter Pan right behind in 4th place. Bugs Bunny and Peter Pan are trying try desperately to get into the round 8. So that they'll have a chance to make the final in the next segment. In the round 8. And what will happen right here. And number 2 is going to he's going to join number 6 all the way back. As the first superstar I guess beat us is Bugs Bunny! And there you have it! Bugs Bunny returns to the round 8. He is now one way closer towards his redemption. He finished at 4 points last year, but he'll have a chance to go back to the grand final in the next segment. Great job by Bugs Bunny as number 8. Wrap up with the next beat bus. Thank you, Peter Pan, for all your support. Hope you see you again real soon. And Bugs Bunny, congratulations. You are doing a good job keeping on the pace. You're moving on to the round of eight. Congratulations. And to wrap up the setting for the next round of round of eight, for race number eight, we have Trico, the Wood Gecko starter from the Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, and Emma, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and Sans who was the 2015 Country Canada Champion in our first annual tournament. Good luck to these two participants, and let's have a job race! <coughs> Alright, so who will complete the setting for the round eight in the next segment? We'll find out soon enough. Who's gonna face Bugs Bunny? That's only one way to find out. Looks like Sans Rush is in the lead, followed by number 8 and number 2. The winner will go on to face Bucks Bunny in about 8, while the loser will have to wait on number year. So, who will get that chance to face off with Bucks Bunny in the round of 8? The will soon know as the two jump make their way across the rainbow path, pushing them off to the other side. And who will get the only toss in this race? It is our leader, Sans Rush, who got it. And he got all over that one. And he is going to face Bugs Bunny in the round of eight. He was once that closer towards gaining back the title after his hand on the figment last year in 2016. He is doing a pretty good job so far. He looks like number five will come in second. And Trico will have to settle for third place. Thank you, Trico. I know you can't fulfill your event this year, but as always next time. Thank you very much. And Sasquatch, you're going to face Bugs Bunny in the round 8, and we will proceed to the round 8 right after we hear why from this. Alright, it's time to find out which four of those 8 characters will be playing for charity money in the grand final. As the first round of 8 ways will feature Skarmory, Char Emperor Spade with Steel type Pokemon, and the Taboya Chop of the Two Headed Dragon, Wheezy. Everyone is on a cross from about further ado. Let's fuck this place! Okay, we're on the way with about eight of our third annual card to carry the tournament. This one aside, who will be finalist number one for the charity money for 2013? We'll say number eight is in the lead, followed by number five, and Wheezy has the best position so far in third place. Will it be Skarmory or Wheezy that will represent finalist number one this season? We'll find out soon enough. And it looks like number 8 is going to rest. Now we'll get number 5 command in the lead up in the front. And who will get the opening toss for this race? Let's find out right now. It's going to be made by number 10, number 5! Who got the lead from number 8 after taking a rest? So number 5 winds up in first place thanks to that Beavers. Which means we'll go to the next pack standing on the remaining 7 channel. Still crawling their way towards the try. I do believe it's going to be Wheezy who's going to be playing for Cherry Mine this year. Yep, Wheezy does it. Wheezy beats our Skarmory for the victory. Sad name, Wheezy Proud. Thanks, 
family for all your support. We'll see you next year. And we see you make Zach very happy. You're going to be playing for charity money in the final round. Right now, let's find out who will be forest number two for 2017. Will it be Blue, our favorite Blue puppy from Blue Screws, or Blue, the Midnight Evolution of Poppyo from Pokemon Sun and Moon? As a matter of fact, there's only one way to find out. Good luck to each next two candles on the quest for victory, and please start the race. All right, so who will join? We see in the round, in the final. We'll find out soon. Enough. Number eight has the lead again, followed by number seven, and it looks like. Boom has the best position so far with third place. The competition is getting fails with each and every race closer and closer to the final. And right now Blue and Boyun are on our way towards the end of the rainbow path, pushing the balls. And let's find out who will get the win toss. The first superstar I guess beat this is Number six! And he got, well, pretty good distance right there. And that will, will put him in first place, jumping up and down like he always does when he completes a base. And it looks like it's going to be Blue who's going to lead the Pokemon franchise to the final. As number one, we'll have the next command for us. Blue holds up Blue for the victory. Thank you, Blue. I know it's heartbreaking that you lost, but it's always next time. Say hi to Steven Joe for me if you see him. Anyway, Blue, congratulations to you, and it's more time coming up on the second half of the round of eight. Alright, that's one spot for Pokemon and one spot for Dragon Tails so far in the final. Next up, for race number three, we have Meganium for Pokemon and Dobby from Disney Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Who will join Weezy and Balloon in the final? We're on the final right now. Please start the race! Alright, so Meganium, the final evolution of Chikorita from Bayleaf, who is going to face the funny little draw Strophy from Slow Night 7 Dwarfs. And it looks like number one is in the lead at the moment, and he's going to mess. Now again, number eight, Commander Lee. Right now, Meganium has the best position so far in fourth place, ahead of Dobby, who is in fifth place at the current moment, as the two green looking fellows make their way across the rainbow path. And now number five is going to join number one for dear life all the way in the back. As the first to the star gets beat, this is the funny girl drop himself, of course. It's Dolphy. He is going to leave the game left behind for one more year. And there you have it. Dolphy whips Disney back in the final. As Dolphy becomes final number three, he makes no white proud. He is going to make donate charity money from ten thousand to hundred thousand dollars. We'll find out soon enough in the final round as number two, one of the next beepers. Thank you, Meganium, for all your support. We'll probably see you next year. You guys have done pretty well. And don't be, you're going to earn money for your charity, hope, hoping that your share is not white. Anyway, congratulations to you. And finally, to wrap up the setting for the final, we have last year's fourth place winner, Bugs Bunny, from the Looney Tunes Warner Bros. Or the Sands Rush, who won the tournament back in 2015. Let's find out whether Bugs Bunny will make a grand final return or Santa will have a chance at his second time last two years. And no! Okay, so Bugs Bunny looks look for a grand final return while Santa looks to have a shot at his second title in the last three years. And number one is gonna be so he will be left behind the crowd. My now number eight is in the lead. Followed by in a close second by Sand Slash. He has the best position so far in second place. Sand Slash and Bugs Bunny are making their way towards the rainbow path. And number eight is going to rest as number one. We'll have the win toss this time around. Now he skyrockets to first place ahead of the pack. But anybody can still catch up to him in a hurry. Well, anyway, next PS we made by number seven, and he will take first place. He got all there on that one. Great speed bus by number seven. That will be followed by number one in second place. And it looks like Sand Slash is going to hold on Bucks Bunny for the victory. Yep, Sand Slash is going to the final. He's going to have a shot at his second title in the last three years. Thanks, Bucks Bunny, for all your support. We'll see you next year. 
and Sasquatch who you're gonna face Wheezy, Brainoon, and they'll be in the final when we come back. Do not go away. So, will the 2017 Cartoon Canada Tournament Champion be Wheezy or Dragon Tails, Brainoon, Dolby from Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, or that Pokey Fine Pokemon Sandswatch? There's only one way to find out, and then we'll resume my regular travel races next week with my October Tag Team Matching. So, best of luck to those four DOS one last time, and we want to sign the clock. And please start the base! Alright, we're on the way with the final. We have two Pokemon, a dwarf from Snow White and Dwarfs from Disney, and one half of our favorite two headed dragon from Dragon Tales. We will wind up for $100,000 this year. We'll find out soon enough. And it looks like number one is for the rest, so he will be left behind the crowd. Boone has the leader to come on with Weezy by on into in second place. And number two is gonna so he's gonna join number one for D-Life. As the first superstar against Beavis is that wonderful dwarf himself! Dopey! It's not why we really needed that to see Dopey against Beavis, and he did it! Looks like Disney's gonna be on top again this year! Dopey is the winner! Dopey makes no white crown! He is the 100,000 on Party Channel Tournament Champion! He started 100,000 on for his journey as Blue with the next command us will wind up with fifty thousand dollars for coming in second place. Looks like we will throw in twenty five thousand dollars and Sans will have to sell for ten thousand dollars. Thank you, followers, for all your support and congratulations to Dopey on making Snow White proud. We'll be right back after these messages. Do not go away. So it's a big congratulations to Dopey from Disney Snow White and Seven Dwarfs on becoming our final champion for our third annual Charity Tour Mini Series. And we want to thank everyone for another great success of our third annual Charity Tour Mini Series. Next week, our 48 superstars and 24 demons will return for exciting tag team matches and women's division races. But until then, this is Paul Sagamore thanking you for joining us for our third annual Charity Racing Charity Tour Mini Series. And join us again for more exciting action here on Charlie Sing 2017. See you next week.